We want to find the derivative of x cubed minus 2x plus 1 using our definition of the derivative. So the very first thing we have to do is set up our definition of the derivative with our function. So limit as h goes to 0. We'll continue to write that until we take the limit. f of x plus h, that's our function with x plus h replacing the x's. x plus h, the quantity cubed, minus 2 times x plus h plus 1, minus f of x. Well, that's just our function, but it's you always want to put this in parentheses because we're subtracting the whole quantity. x cubed minus 2x plus 1, all over h. All right, so now we have to multiply everything out. So first thing we have to do is multiply out x plus h to the quantity cubed. That's not x cubed plus h cubed. It's x plus h times x plus h times x plus h. What you'll get when you FOIL all that out is x cubed plus 3xh, excuse me, 3x squared h plus 3xh squared and then plus h cubed. So that whole line is the x plus h, the quantity cubed. Now we've got to distribute this to minus 2x minus 2h. And then we still have this plus 1. Now for this minus f of x part, we have to distribute the negative. So minus x cubed plus 2x minus 1. Once again, we are still all over h. Now we're going to have some fun, and there's going to be some canceling. I see a plus 1 and a minus 1. I see a plus x cubed and a minus x cubed. I see a minus 2x and a plus 2x. And that looks to be all we can cancel, but that's okay. We now have it so that the numerator, each term has an h in it. So my next step, I'm going to rewrite the numerator, but I'm going to factor out an h. So times 3x squared plus 3x times h. Notice that the power of h is going down one in each term. Plus h squared minus 2. So I removed an h from each term in the numerator, and I have it here with the denominator, and I now can cancel the h's. We are now at the point where we can plug in 0 for h, because it's no longer going to create 0 over 0 or indeterminate form, and we end up with 3x squared plus 3x times 0, plus 0 squared minus 2 and we see that all that we have left is 3x squared minus 2 which is our derivative.